and welcome back everybody today i'm going to be showing you how to get minecraft the real java edition with mods data packs and all that jazz on your steam deck we're going to jump right into it here and if you're on the discover page for the desktop steam deck you'll notice that there actually is a minecraft from uh from the horse's mouth here but if you go into the the comments down below you'll notice that people are having issues with it retaining their logins they have to log in every time and that's just unacceptable so after installing that and promptly uninstalling that we'll actually go back to the games page if you scroll up and down here there's actually a third party launcher that i've been using since november ignore the date stamp in the bottom corner here this is old footage but i do use this daily so i can confirm that it works Minecraft needs Java, and since this is installed from the, the App Store, it's not aware of the Java on the rest of our system. We're going to have to automatic set up and download Java for, uh, for the GD launcher here. So we'll just let it do its thing in the background. Get in the Javas. Now that we've done this, I've actually migrated my account, and you probably should have at this point in time, 2023, to Microsoft. So you should be able to pop over here and hit your Steam and your X to get your key keyboard and log in this makes this immediately not steam verified technically and the cool thing about gd launcher is you can actually create many many instances you can have one for fabric one for forge one for vanilla so give it a name if you need to and then while that's creating the instance we'll pop back over into steam and add gd launcher as a non-steam game i'm going to make some minor tweaks to the gd launcher i don't want to see the news and i want to hide the launcher while we're playing the game that way we don't have two windows open. And then I actually have to pop back in here quite often and change this to 1080p when I'm docked. It'd be nice if there was a way to launch two different versions or something. But for now, if you're just playing this on the Steam Deck, you'll change this to 1280 by 800. I'm struggling to erase the numbers and <laughs> type 800 in that. You can also change the memory if you needed to, the minimum below. I haven't touched any of that. But after all this, we're going to go ahead and boot into... Minecraft, I'll show you what it, what it runs at. It runs pretty good. I get about 40 to 50 frames per second, depending on what my my chunk settings are. If you lower that down to like 6 to 8 chunks, I think you can get that to about 60 FPS pretty consistently. If you're underground in different areas, 60 FPS pretty consistently. And if you're in a more demanding shader, like I'm running here, the complementary shaders, 4 point something, it drops that down pretty significantly i can get as low as 15 sometimes 18 average about 20 fps it's playable but it's pretty rough and at times i just give up on that and go back to regular no shaders but the last thing i'll show you here is just the path it's kind of tricky to find where in the the blazes it put the folder for this <laughs> gd launcher and you actually need to go here to add mods or data packs and stuff like that so if you need to go and add mods and data packs this is where you go to do that hope this helped you if it did hit that like and subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next one thank you again